your neighbor you belong in the kingdom so everything in life is about relationships Todo en la vida es acerca de relaciones. from the moment that we wake up desde el momento que nos levantamos to the moment that we lie down, al momento en que nos acostamos we are always in relationship with somebody. estamos siempre en relación con alguien is that right? ¿está correcto eso? And nothing is more powerful y nada es más poderoso than a divine relationship. que una relación divina you know, all of us here tonight, todos nosotros aquí en esta noche we were all brought to this house todos fuimos traídos a esta casa by a divine appointment por un, una, un, una cita divina To build divine relationships among us. Para construir relaciones divinas en, en medio de nosotros. So I want you to say, I belong. Yo quiero que digas, yo pertenezco. Hallelujah. So it's in his kingdom culture. Es en la cultura del reino. That for us to belong in kingdom relationships. Para nosotros pertenecer a las relaciones del reino. Where his power is released. Donde su poder es desatado. And God is glorified. Y Dios es glorificado. As you influence como una influencia Apostle's been teaching us, right? Apóstol nos ha estado enseñando to put on our measure para ponernos la medida and to influence in our spheres, right? y, y influenciar en las esferas How many influencers do I have in the house tonight? influenciadores tengo aquí en la casa esta noche? Hallelujah, because we should be influencing the culture. Porque debemos estar influenciando la cultura. We should be influencing in our workplace. Debemos estar influenciando en nuestro lugar de we trabajo. We should be influencing at home. Debemos estar influenciando en nuestra casa. You may say how? ¿Cómo? Well, in our marriage. En nuestro matrimonio. With our children. Con nuestros niños. With our grandkids. Con nuestros nietos. With our neighbors. Con nuestros vecinos. We are called to influence this nation. Hemos sido llamados a influenciar en esta nación. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's go to Matthew 22. Vamos a ir a Mateo 22. Verses 37 through 39. Desde el 37 al 39. Hallelujah. And Jesus replied to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. That is, unselfishly seek the best or higher good for others. For others. So that is the greatest commandment. So ese es el mayor mandamiento. What is Jesus talking about here? ¿De qué es lo que está hablando Jesús aquí? He's talking about our relationship with him. Él está hablando de nuestra relación con And él. our relationship with each other. Y nuestra relación con, con el uno el otro. Our relationship with people. En nuestra relación con el pueblo. You know how we love the Lord. Cómo amamos al Señor. How we love others. Cómo amamos a los demás. You know many say I love you love you Lord. Me, muchos dicen te amo te amo Señor. You know, and, and they fill their mouths with all this stuff. Y se llena la boca con todas estas cosas. But then they're mistreating their spouse. Pero entonces maltratan a su esposo. Or mistreating their children. O maltratan a sus niños. Or being nasty at work. O se, de, no son este, educados al en el trabajo. So I'd have to question if you really love the Lord. So, entonces tengo que preguntarme, ¿realmente amas al Señor? Because here God is commanding us. Porque aquí el Señor nos está comandando. He is commanding us. Él nos está comandando. To love Him. Que, los, que lo amemos and to love others. y que amemos a los demás. How many of you love yourselves? ¿Cuántos de ustedes se aman a sí mismos? I love myself. Yo me amo a mí misma. You gotta love yourself. Tú te tienes que amar. <laughs> If you're a child of God, you know who you are in the Lord. Tú eres un hijo de Dios. Tú sabes quién tú eres en el Señor. You love yourself. Tú tienes que amarte. Right? So you're not gonna hurt your own body, right? Tú no te vas a lastimar a ti mismo. You're not gonna talk negative to your own self. Tú no te vas a hablar negativamente a ti mismo. So we will, we don't want to do that to others as well. Tampoco queremos hacerle eso a otras personas. Because persona. we want others to treat us just as we would treat ourselves. Porque queremos que los demás nos traten como nosotros nos tratamos a nosotros mismos. So so we gotta love unselfishly. Porque entonces entonces tenemos que amar de eh, sin egoísmo, sin egoísmo, unselfishly, sin egoísmo, without looking for something in return, sin de estar buscando algo en retorno. In this house we have a saying. En esta casa tenemos un decir that we don't give to get. Que nosotros nos damos para recibir. We give to honor. Nosotros damos para honrar. So how are you honoring the relationships that God has placed in your life? Entonces cómo estás honrando las relaciones que Dios ha puesto en tu vida? How are we honoring our spouse? Cómo estamos honrando a nuestros hijos? How parejas? are we honoring our children? Cómo estamos honrando a nuestros niños? How do we honor our co-disciples? Cómo estamos honrando a nuestros co-discípulos? How are we honoring our mentors? Cuánto cómo estamos honrando a nuestros mentores? And how do we honor our leaders? Y cómo honramos a nuestros líderes? This is something that we have to introspect ourselves. Esto es algo que tenemos que hacernos una introspección. What does our love walk look like? ¿Cómo luce nuestro caminar de amor? 
Are you somebody that somebody wants to go and hang out with? Eres alguien que alguien las personas quieren compartir con. The, the, there's this thing on Facebook that I've seen. Esta cosa en Facebook que yo he visto. Where it says how a mosquito, you know, um, will just prick your skin, right? Como un mosquito te pica. But when it comes out, it's just the sweetness of Jesus comes out. Pero cuando sale sale la dulzura de Jesús. I want the sweetness of Jesus to flow through me. Yo quiero que la dulzura de Jesús fluya a Don't you want that for yourself? No quieres eso tú también. That when other people come around you, they can smell, they can feel, they can taste Jesus in you. Que cuando otras personas ven alrededor tuyo, ellos puedan este oler, sentir a Jesús en ti. Because Jesus runs through your blood. Porque Jesús corre por tu sangre. His character runs through you. Su carácter corre a través de ti. And the world out there is looking for a people that will love them. Y el mundo allá afuera está buscando por un pueblo personas que les amen. Someone that's not going to judge them. Alguien que no los va a juzgar. But that will pull them through the love of Jesus, like like cords of loving kindness. Pero lo va a alar a través del amor de Jesús. Yesterday in evangelism. Ayer en evangelismo. We went out. Fuimos afuera. And we always tell the Lord. Y siempre le decimos al Señor. Send us to the one that is crying out. Envíanos a aquel que está clamando por ti. Because it's not about numbers. Porque no es acerca de números. It's about the one. Es acerca de ese. And we knocked on a door. Y tocamos en una puerta. And this old lady came out. Y esta señora mayor salió afuera. It took her a little while to come out to the door. Le tomó un momento en salir hacia la puerta. We thought there was nobody home. Pensamos que no había nadie en la casa. So we left the little our, our card. So dejamos una tarjeta. And we crossed the street. Y cruzamos la calle. But all of a sudden we see this old little lady coming out to the door. Pero de momento vemos a esta señora mayor saliendo de la puerta. And my husband says, Raquel, run! She's coming out. Y mi esposo dijo, Raquel, corre, que está abriendo la puerta. So it's starting to sprinkle and I'm just running. Y empecé a correr. And I'm like, good afternoon. Buenas tardes. How are you? ¿Cómo estás? And she was grumpy. Y ella estaba quejosa. And she said, why would you knock on my doorbell and take off running? ¿Por qué tocas a mi puerta y te vas corriendo? Why can't you wait for me to get to the door? ¿Por qué no puedes esperar para que yo llegue a la puerta? And I said, I am so sorry. Y yo dije, lo siento tanto. We thought nobody was home. Pensamos que no había nadie en so la casa. So we moved on to the next house. So fuimos a la casa siguiente. But I'm so glad that you came and opened your door. Pero estoy tan contenta que viniste y abriste la puerta. I want to pray for you. Yo quiero orar por ti. Is there anything on your heart I can pray for you about? Hay algo en tu corazón que yo puedo orar por ti. And she began to share with us. Y ella empezó a compartirnos. How her sister. Como su hermana. Is in hospice in her house. House. Está en el piso en su casa. She's about to go at any moment. Está a punto de irse en cualquier momento. This is an 86-year-old woman. Esto es una viejita de 86 años. From Cuba. De Cuba. Let me tell you, she had spike. Déjeme decirle, <laughs> ella tiene valor. And and she says, yes. Uh, can you please pray for her transition? Sí, por favor, puedes orar por su transición. We began to pray for her sister. Empezamos a orar por su hermana. We began to pray for her. Empezamos a orar por ella. She broke down. Ella se quebrantó. The love of God began to minister to her heart. El amor de Dios empezó a ministrar a su corazón. She invited us to sit down in her porch. Nos invitó a sentarnos en su balcón. And she just began to conversate with us. Y solo empezó a conversar con nosotros. About Jesus. Acerca de Jesús. And it was such a beautiful experience y fue una experiencia bien bonita to share the love of God with someone de compartir el amor de Dios con alguien that was crying out for company que estaba clamando por compañía that was crying out for help que estaba clamando por ayuda it was beautiful y fue hermoso so we, we are called to share that love that we carry inside es, hemos sido llamados a compartir ese amor que cargamos adentro it is the greatest gift that we have inside es el gran regalo que tenemos adentro more than gifts more than anything that we can do más que regalos más que cualquier otra cosa que podamos hacer the love of God we have inside el amor de Dios que tenemos adentro that we can share it with others que lo podemos compartir con otros is the greatest gift of all es el mayor regalo de todos there was a man había un hombre that when he got to heaven, que cuando llegó al cielo, Jesus asked him, Jesús le preguntó, How well did you love? ¿Qué tan bien amaste? See, because the whole gospel is encased in that one word. Porque todo el evangelio está encerrado en esa palabra. To love him with all of our heart. Amarlo a él con todo nuestro corazón. With all of our strength. Con toda nuestra fuerza. With all of our soul. Con toda nuestra alma. And with all of our mind. Y con toda nuestra mente. And to love your neighbor. Y amar a tu vecino. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So you can have all the money. You can have all the wealth. 
Puedes tener todo el dinero, toda la riqueza. You can have all the nice clothes. Puedes tener toda la ropa más bonita. You can be trending in style. Puedes tener mucho estilo. You can have the nice car. Puedes tener el mejor carro. You can be a successful business person. Puedes ser exitoso, hombre de negocios. But if you don't have love, pero si tú no tienes amor, you ain't got nothing. Tú no tienes nada. Because none of those things Porque ninguna de esas cosas are eternal. Son eternas. None of it. Ninguna de esas cosas. There are only two things that are eternal. Hay solo dos cosas que son and eternas. that's going to impact your eternity when you get to heaven. Y que van a tu a los and cielos. that's going to be your relationship with God. Y eso va a ser tu con and your relationship with people. Y tu con el so when you love God, tú amas a Dios, you love people. Tú amas a la gente. And you will bring some people y tú vas a traer into personas, the kingdom. Al reino, And you're going to encourage others to stay in the kingdom. You know, souls have an eternal worth. Las almas tienen un valor eterno. I see it this way. Yo lo veo de esta manera. Souls are the currency of heaven. Las almas son la moneda de los cielos. I'm going to say it again. Souls are the currency of heaven. Las almas son la moneda de los cielos. It's not your gifts. No son tus dones. It's not how well you look. Es no cómo te ves. It's not much how much wealth you can do here on this earth. Y no cuánta riqueza tú tienes aquí en la tierra. How beautiful are the feet the word of God says. Qué tan hermosos son los pies. Of those palabra. that carry the gospel of Jesus Christ. De aquellos que llevan el evangelio de Jesucristo. How beautiful are the feet of the apostle, the prophet and the team that are in Africa right now. Qué hermosos son los pies de la That they are carrying the gospel of Jesus Christ. How beautiful are your feet when you carry the gospel of Jesus. When you preach about Jesus. When you walk like Jesus. When you love like Jesus. When you talk like Jesus. How beautiful are your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said everything hinged on these two relationships. Jesús dijo que todo descansa sobre estas dos relaciones. And these two relationships are what will impact our eternity. Y estas relaciones son lo que van a impactar la eternidad. You know, it amazes me. Me asombra. How Jesus. Como Jesús. Took 12 disciples. Tomó 12 discípulos. 12 men. 12 hombres. And he revolutionized the world with those 12 men. Y revolucionó el mundo con esos 12 hombres. It took 12. Solo tomó 12. 12 means government. 12 que encontrar How many of you know that we are a governmental church? ¿Cuántos de ustedes saben que somos una iglesia We are a governmental ecclesia. Somos una iglesia We are called to impact this region. Gubernamental y hemos sido llamados a impactar esta región. And God is calling you and I. Y Dios te está llamando a ti y a mí. To carry the gospel. Para llevar el evangelio. And to build relationships. Y levantar relaciones. By preaching Jesus, predicando a Jesús, twelve disciples, doce discípulos, they were effective relationships. Fueron relaciones efectivas. It's amazing to me. It's amazing to me. Es asombroso para mí. The level of commitment, el nivel de compromiso, that Jesus had for his disciples, que Jesús tuvo con sus discípulos. When I study the life of Jesus, cuando yo estudié la vida de Jesús, it it just confounds me. Eso me 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 sorprende. How his level of commitment El nivel de compromiso de with él. each one of his disciples. Con cada uno de sus disciples. Have you realized that Jesus is committed to you? ¿Te has dado cuenta de que Jesús es comprometido He's contigo? committed to you. Él está comprometido contigo. He's more committed to you than you are to yourself. Él está más comprometido contigo de lo que tú estás contigo mismo. Isn't that mind-boggling? <laughs> ¿No es eso asombroso? And his disciples were committed to him in the same way. Y sus discípulos estaban comprometidos con él en la misma manera. God is looking for that level of commitment in us. Dios está buscando ese nivel de compromiso en cada uno de nosotros. Maybe some of us may have the water to the knees. A lo mejor algunos de nosotros tenemos la agua hasta las rodillas. Maybe our commitment is up to our knee level. A lo mejor el compromiso está hasta las rodillas. Okay, but God in this season, because we've crossed through the door, remember? Pero Dios en esta temporada. We crossed through the door. Remember? Remember? We made a commitment, right? So now that, that water has to rise up to our hips. Our level of commitment has to rise up to the hip. And maybe your, maybe your commitment was up to the hip. But now God is calling you to rise up your commitment now to your shoulders. Maybe you may say, oh, well, my commitment's really there. I'm always there. Well, he wants more. He wants 
you to be so submerged in his waters. He wants you to be so submerged in his love. Where everything about you becomes him. Where we are no longer seen. But he is seen in us. Where he operates through us. Where he speaks through us. Where he loves through us. Where it's all about Jesus. And nothing else. Hallelujah. 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 We are in a new time. Estamos en unos tiempos nuevos. Where the Lord has been speaking to the house. Donde el Señor ha estado hablando a la casa. That he's marrying evangelism with discipleship. Que le está casando evangelismo con discipulado. We must be disciples. Debemos ser discípulos. That are committed to Jesus. Que están comprometidos con Jesús. That allow ourselves to be discipled. Que se permiten ser discipulados. That are allowing us to be matured. Que se permiten ser madurados. In the things of the Lord. En las cosas del Señor. So we can go out there Para que ir and begin afuera. to build effective relationships y a and begin to bring in the harvest y a traer la because the harvest is ready la está lista. the harvest is ready la está lista. but the laborers are few Pero los son pocos. but I declare and decree Pero yo y that in redemption we will be a house of laborers a de house de of committed disciples una casa de that will be passionate for the soul and they will fill the house of the Lord because that is our mandate hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah so this is going to help us to start to place and develop para, eh, y to nurture a nutrir, and sustain relationships a at every level. A nivel. How many of you know that the closer you are to someone saben que de lo más cerca que estás a alguien, the more power is released. Ma, le, la mayor cantidad de poder es desatada. See, each one of you Se, cada uno de ustedes, carries dunamis power. Carga poder each one of you cada uno de ustedes, are a walking resource. Son un recurso caminante. Each one of you have so many gifts. Cada uno de ustedes tiene muchos dones. But as you draw close to those relationships, Pero así tú te a esas you're going to begin to release power. Vas a a desatar poder. Power. Poder. Power. Poder. That's why the disciples of Jesus. Es por eso que los de Jesús, later on, they became great apostles. Después se convirtieron en gran apóstoles. That revolution is the world. Que el mundo entero. Why? ¿Por qué? Because they were close to the rabbi. Porque cerca they del were rabbi. close to Jesus. Cerca de they Jesús. put a demand on him. They began to pull from his mantle. They began to learn of his character. So power was released through that relationship. I want to encourage you. Those that are disciples of the house. Draw close to your leaders. Draw close and pull. From apostle, from prophet. They are wells of living water. Wells of wisdom. That you can pull from and gain, and power is going to be released through that relationship. Amen. Hallelujah. When you enter into a relationship that you belong, cuando, there is resurrection power. Cuando tú entras a relaciones a las cuales tú perteneces, hay poder de resurrección desatado. How many of you really know you belong in this house? ¿Cuántos de ustedes saben que ustedes pertenecen a esta casa? Then you carry resurrection power. Entonces tú cargas poder de resurrección. You carry resurrection power. Tú cargas poder de resurrección. You carry the power to raise the dead. Tú cargas el poder para resucitar a los muertos. Every time, how many of you have realized? ¿Cuántos de ustedes se han dado cuenta? That as you go through throughout your day you are talking to dead people dead people in the spirit but you're carrying that power of resurrection inside of you and when you begin to open your mouth and you begin to release your love story there's that power of resurrection that begins to flow out of your mouth and all of a sudden those people that were dead become alive all of a sudden that person that was sick gets healed all of a sudden that person and that needed deliverance is delivered because of the power of resurrection inside of you oh thank you Jesus I love you Lord
Aleluya. Let's go to Luke 19, 41 through 44. Vamos a Lucas 19. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And it says, as he approached Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it and the spiritual ignorance of its people, saying, if only you had known on this day of salvation, even you, the things which make for peace and of which peace depends, but now they have been hidden from your eyes, for a time of siege is coming. A time of siege is coming when your enemies will put a barricade with pointed stakes against you and surround you with armies and hem you on every side. And they will level you to the ground. Oh, you Jerusalem and your children within you. They will not leave in you one stone on another. Oh, because you did not come progressively to recognize from observation and personal experience the time of your visitation when God was gracious towards you and offered you salvation. Hallelujah. So right here in these uh, scriptures we are seeing that we have to recognize en esta escritura estamos viendo que tenemos que reconocer where you belong donde a tu, a donde tú perteneces. because life is governed by laws. Porque la vida está gobernada por leyes. How many of you know that? ¿Cuántos de ustedes saben eso? That our life is governed by laws. Que las leyes están go la vida está gobernada por leyes. There's a law of promotion Hay una ley de promoción that governs promotion only by someone whose instruction you follow. Que gobierna la promoción Solo a través de aquel que te instruye a lo siguiente. What have we been learning? Que es lo que hemos estado aprendiendo. That we gotta follow Jesus. Que tenemos que seguir a Jesús. There's the law of the seed. Está la ley de la siembra. That governs reaping to what you sow. Que gobierna el cosechar lo que tú sembraste. There's the law of reproduction. Está la ley de reproducción. That governs reproduction only to that which you are. Que, que gobierna la reproducción aquello solamente de lo que tú eres. So you can reproduce something that you are not. Tú no puedes reproducir algo que tú no eres. Many try to reproduce something they're not. Muchos tratan de reproducir algo que ellos no son. We got to reproduce the Jesus in us. Tenemos que reproducir a Jesús en nosotros. Then there's the law of recognition. Y está la ley de la de reconocimiento. That governs everything you need. Que, go que gobierna todo lo que tú necesitas. The purpose for one's life. El propósito de, de alguien en la vida. Is already in them. Está ya dentro de ellos. Along with the resources that they need. Con los recursos que ellos necesitan. So there are resources in your life. So hay recursos en tu vida. Waiting for you to recognize them. Que están esperando que tú los reconozcas. But you haven't seen them yet. Pero todavía tú no los has visto. So it's costing you something. Te está costando entonces algo. It's costing algo. a delay. Te está costando una tardanza. Or maybe it's even preventing you from walking in your purpose. O a lo mejor te está preveniendo de que tú camines en tu propósito. How many have experienced that? ¿Cuántos de ustedes han delay? experimentado eso? Right? Some of us are waiting for some things, right? Al algunos de nosotros estamos esperando por algo. So God is calling us to recognize. So Dios nos está llamando a que reconozcamos. See in this passage. En este pasaje. They didn't recognize Jesus. Ellos no reconocieron a Jesús. They didn't recognize the Messiah. Ellos no reconocieron al Mesías. The Messiah that they had been waiting for. Al Mesías que ellos habían estado esperando por. They didn't recognize the relationship. No reconocieron la relación. That they had desperately been waiting for. Que desesperadamente estaban esperando por. Which caused them to miss the day of their visitation. Lo que le costó perder el día de su visitación. And that's why Jesus wept. Y es por eso que Jesús because they missed the day of his visitation el día de su because they didn't recognize him no lo they had this other ideology of how he was going to come in todas estas otras ideologías de cómo él iba a venir. when he was in their midst Mientras que él estaba en medio de they ellos. did not recognize him no lo what are you not recognizing ¿Qué tú no estás that's causing you delay que te está una in your finances en tus finanzas, in the business en el negocio, in the relationships en las relaciones. what is it you are not recognizing ¿Qué es lo que no estás hallelujah so in his kingdom, en su reino, in a relationship with him in his kingdom, en una con él y su reino, there is power.
power for everything that you need. Hay poder para todo lo que tú necesitas. And there are resources that will be activated. Y hay recursos que serán activados. By the power that comes from relationships that you belong in. Por el poder que viene a través de la relación a la cual tú perteneces. So there are going to be resources and things that will be activated because of the relationship that you are in with. Van a haber recursos que van a ser activados por a causa de la relación a la cual tú estás que tú perteneces. Haven't you ever noticed that saying? Nunca has notado ese decir. They say, "Tell me who you're with, and I'll tell you who you are." Dime quién tú eres, con quién andas y te diría quién eres. You know, we have to introspect ourselves. Nosotros tenemos que hacernos una introspección. With our relationships. Con nuestras relaciones. I had to do that this morning. Yo tuve que hacer eso esta mañana. I had to let go of someone that I love dearly this morning. Yo tuve que dejar ir a alguien que amo mucho en esta mañana. Because that person is no longer called to walk with me in this new season of my life. Porque esa persona ya no está llamada a caminar conmigo en esta nueva temporada en mi vida. And I cried. Y yo lloré. Because I love that person. Porque yo amo esa persona. But it's a new season for me. Pero es una nueva, nueva temporada para mí. And that person can't walk with me anymore. Y esa persona no puede caminar conmigo en esta temporada. It was causing a delay. Estaba causando un atraso. We have to introspect ourselves. Nosotros tenemos que hacernos una introspección. Our relationships. Nuestras relaciones. There are some people that you're going to have to cut off. Hay algunas personas que vas a tener que cortar. They can't go with you in this new season. No pueden ir contigo a esta nueva temporada. Because otherwise porque de otra manera you're just going to delay the purpose of God on your life vas a retrasar el propósito de Dios en tu vida and God can't move you into the new things that he has for you entonces Dios no te va a poder mover a las nuevas cosas que él tiene into the new relationships a las nuevas relaciones and this is where you got to trust God y aquí es donde tienes que confiar en Dios because he knows everything about us porque él conoce todo acerca de nosotros he knows our beginning and he knows our middle and he knows our end él conoce el principio el medio y el final and he always has the best for us y él siempre tiene lo mejor para nosotros amen Amen. Hallelujah. Luke 23, 42 through 43. Lucas 23. 42 through 43. Del 42 al 43. And he was saying, Jesus, please remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus said to him, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Today you will be with me in paradise. Who are we talking about here? We're talking about here about, you know, those convicts that were with him, right? ¿De quién estamos hablando aquí? Estamos hablando de los convictos que estaban con él. At the cross, one to his left, one to his right. A la cruz, uno a su izquierda y uno a su derecha. One began to accuse him. Uno empezó a acusarlo. Right? But the other one said, Lord. Pero el otro dijo, Señor. Remember me. Recuérdame. In that day, en ese día. see, he recognized. Ven, él reconoció. He recognized who was Jesus. Él reconoció quién era Jesús. See, so the law of recognition so la ley de can supernaturally turn a lifetime of sin puede una, una vida en pecado, to a lifetime of eternal blessings para una vida eterna de bendiciones. in the blinking of an eye. En el abrir y cerrar de uno, de ojos. Amen. We see the same thing with King David. Vemos esto también con el rey David. He recognized Saul as king. Él reconoció a Saúl como rey. Followed his instructions. Siguió sus instrucciones. Was promoted by Saul. Fue promovido por Saul. And eventually by God to be the king. Y eventualmente fue el rey. But King Saul did not recognize David. Pero, pero el rey Saúl no reconoció a David. His purpose. Su propósito. Or that he was ordained by God. O que él fue ordenado por Dios. And therefore did not follow God's directions. Entonces no siguió las instrucciones de Dios. And was removed from the throne y él fue removido del trono see sometimes familiarity ven algunas veces la familiaridad will cause us to be blind no va a causar que estemos ciegos will cause us to fail to recognize who is in front of us va a causar que no reconozcamos quién está delante de nosotros and many times many of the delays and the blessings y muchas de las ocasiones la, los retrasos en las bendiciones It's because of not being able to recognize the gift es por no poder reconocer el don or the office o la oficina of a person de una persona because familiarity blinds us porque la familiaridad te ciega and it causes us the blessings of God to be delayed y causa que las bendiciones de Dios sean retrasadas and we're crying out God bless me, bless me y le clamamos a Dios bendíceme, bendíceme God my finances mis finanzas Lord my son Señor mi hijo when are you going to save him cuando lo vas a salvar 
But there's familiarity in your heart. Pero hay familiaridad en tu corazón. You know that there's even familiarity in our heart for God. Sabe que hay familiaridad en nuestro corazón por Dios. You can Dios. become familiar even with His presence. Tú puedes eh, ponerte familiar con su presencia también. Oh, what does that look like? ¿Cómo luce eso? Oh, it's church again on Thursday. So, es, es iglesia nuevamente jueves. Well, I guess I gotta go because I have to go. So, yo creo que tengo que ir porque tengo que ir. Oh, I'm just gonna clap. Yo solo voy a aplaudir. I'm just gonna give a shout. Voy Hallelujah. A Okay, listen to a message. Voy a escuchar el mensaje. I've heard this before already. Ya yo escuché esto anteriormente. Oh, I have greater revelation in this. So, yo tengo mayor revelación en esto. That's familiarity. Eso es familiaridad. With the presence of God. Con la presencia de Dios. See, when we come to the house of God. Cuando venimos a la casa de Dios. We gotta come like a child. Que tenemos que venir como un niño. We gotta come like a child. Tenemos que venir como un niño. God, what do you have for me today? Dios, ¿qué tú tienes para mí? I want to praise you with everything that I have. Yo quiero alabarte con todo lo que tengo. I never want to be familiar with your presence. Yo no quiero estar familiar con tu presencia. I'm gonna shout. I'm gonna scream. Yo quiero gritar. I'm gonna praise you with everything that I've got. Yo quiero alabarte con todo lo que tengo. I'm gonna love you and look like a fool. Yo quiero amarte. I don't care what I look like. No I don't look. care what I sound like. No but I want to come and worship you. Yo I want to come and love on you. Yo venir y because you're worthy of it. Tú eres digno de We come with a child's faith expecting como una fe de niño that God will release something into our lives. Que Dios algo en We vida. put a demand on His presence. Una en su We're not looking to the worship team. No al de We're looking to the sound that we are releasing. Y al And sonido as we que release our desatado. sounds together, we begin juntos. to release a rainbow of colors, a, a una rainbow of colors color all over this region. Para esta Hallelujah! So we cannot become familiar so with his no, presence. No podemos ponernos familiares con la presencia. We must recognize who he is. Tenemos que reconocer quién es él. We must recognize who he is. Tenemos que reconocer quién es él. Oh hallelujah, I praise you Jesus. Te alabo, Señor. Oh rabashekera basaya. Sometimes we have not recognized some of the greatest gifts in our lives. Algunas de las veces no hemos reconocido uno de los grandes dones en nuestras vidas. And it has cost us greatly. Y nos ha costado mucho. But I want you to lift up your hand right now. Pero yo quiero que levantes tu mano ahora mismo. And I want you to declare with me and say, Father. Y yo quiero que declare conmigo, mi padre. In Jesus name. En el nombre de Jesús. Open my eyes. O abre mis ojos. That I may recognize. Que yo reconozca. The resources. Los recursos. The access. El acceso. The doors. Las puertas. That you have placed. Que tú has puesto. In my life. En mi vida. Through my relationships. A través de mis relaciones. In Jesus name. En el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Amen. See everything that you need for your life today Todo lo que tú para tu vida is este already día. in your life está, está en tu it's vida. just waiting for you to recognize it Solo está esperando que tú lo it's waiting for you to recognize está it esperando que tú lo that's reconozca. why you gotta say Lord open my eyes es por eso que que decirle, let Señor, me que see te what's ojos. inside of me Déjame ver lo que está what is de the mí. deposit inside of me dentro de mí? you cannot tell me that you're fearful tú no puedes decirme que eres temeroso. because the word of God said that he has made you bold like a lion Porque la palabra de Dios dice So there's boldness inside of you. So hay audacia dentro de ti. There's boldness inside of you. Hay audacia dentro de ti. There are so many things inside of us. Hay tantas cosas dentro de nosotros. And we are called to walk it out in this season. Y estamos llamados a caminarlo en esta temporada. We're going to walk it out in this season. Vamos a caminarlo en esta temporada. Because we are an army in this house. Porque somos un ejército en esta casa. I remember one day in intercession. Me recuerdo un día en intercesión. I began to see the, the church a ver la iglesia, and the people in the church y las personas en la iglesia. and I began to see us dressed in, in army gear y los a ver, eh, como ropa del ejército, but militares. every single person Pero cada persona had a different weapon tenía, cada persona tenía un arma diferente. some had spears Algunos tenían lanzas. some had um, ¿cómo se llama esa cosa? Uh, 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 ondas On, eso that <laughs> <laughs> um, some had javelins algunos tenían jabalinas <laughs> some had swords uh, algunos tenían espadas Everybody had a different weapon. Todo el mundo tenía dif almas diferentes. And I saw somebody, some people without anything. Y yo vi a personas con nada. And I said, Lord, how come these people don't have a weapon? Y cómo estas personas no tienen un alma? And he said, I placed a sound inside of them. Yo puse el sonido dentro de ellos. And as they open their mouths, y cuando ellos abran they su boca, carry a sound. Ellos cargan un sonido. They carry a sound. Ellos cargan un sonido. 
And I began to see the church and the people y yo a ver a la gente releasing the weapons and the sound. Las armas oh y my el sonido. God, it was so powerful. Era tan it was like sound waves hitting the region Era como olas de and causing a revolution. Y una see, I carry revival in me. So yo cargo avivamiento dentro you de mí. carry revival in you Tú cargas avivamiento dentro de ti. one of my declarations to the Lord Una de mis declaraciones al Señor. in my country in Guatemala, en mi país en Guatemala there was a revival that hit a city called Almalonga that's part of my inheritance Eso es parte de mi herencia. that all of the pastors came together in unity Todos los pastores se vinieron en unidad. and they began to fast and pray y empezaron a ayunar y a orar. for their city Por esa ciudad. a revival hit that city Un avivamiento golpeó esa ciudad. so much so Tanto that till this day que hasta este día, not one liquor store no hay una licorería. there's no jail no hay cárcel You don't find any drug addicts. You don't find any prostitution. No, faga, no, no encuentra prostitución, drogadictos. The whole city came to Christ. Toda la ciudad vino a Cristo. And not only that. Y no tan solo God eso. blessed the land so much. Eso bendijo Check tanto it out, la Richie. Tierra, it blessed it so much. La bendijo tanto. That the land began to give fruit. Que la tierra empezó a dar fruto. The fruit. I mean, I'm talking like carrots, like the size like this. Estoy hablando de zanahorias así, grandotas. They export. Están exportando huge fruit, fruta enorme, and vegetables, y vegetales. And for the unbelievers in here, y para los que no creen aquí, look it up on YouTube. Búsquelo en YouTube. Revival hit that place. Avivamiento golpeó ese lugar. And I am believing and crying out for that same revival here in Kissimmee. Y yo estoy creyendo por el mismo avivamiento aquí en Kissimmee. God will do it. Dios lo va a hacer. And I believe we are the generation that will see that. Y yo creo que somos la so que you vamos gotta a recognize eso. what you carry inside. Tú que lo que tú Do not de despise ti. yourself. No te, uh, menosprecies. menosprecies. Don't despise yourself. No te you carry weight. Tú peso. You carry glory. Tú you carry power. Tú poder. You carry authority. To change and shift the atmosphere. Para to atmosferas. shift the nation Para in one day. La en un día. Hallelujah. 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 And that law of recognition y esa de is acción. access when you know that you belong. Y la ley de se access, Otherwise, se you're Otherwise, you're too concerned. Otherwise, you're too concerned. Trying to belong. Tratando de pertenecer. Where are you today? ¿Dónde tú estás hoy? Do you really know you belong? Realmente tú sabes que tú perteneces. Or are you concerned in belonging? O tú estás preocupado y estás perteneciendo. You gotta know that you belong. Tú tienes que saber que tú perteneces. Or else you're never gonna see the resources. Porque entonces nunca va a haber los recursos. That's right in front of you. Están ahí frente de ti. Hallelujah. It's kind of like you know for those that wear glasses. Es como aquellos que se ponen, <laughs> usan espejuelos. I used to wear glasses. God healed me. Yo solía usar espejuelos y Dios me But I remember when I used when I used to wear them. Yo me recuerdo cuando yo los usaba. When they would get dirty. Cuando se ponían sucios. Right, they would get foggy and. Se ponía um, como una sombra. Yucky, you know. And I would take it off. Yo me lo quitaba. And I couldn't see from far. Y no podía ver de lejos. And one time I took it off. Una vez me lo quité. <laughs> and I couldn't find my glasses. Y no me podía encontrar mis I mean, I went crazy, you know, because that's what we do. We go crazy looking, right, for me the keys, for the phone, for the glasses, right? Buscando los espejuelos. And I'm going crazy looking all over the house for y estoy buscando it. Los por toda la casa. <laughs> Come to realize. Después entonces me di cuenta. It was right in front of me. Estaban ahí enfrente de mí. <laughs> But see, that's what happens to us. Eso es lo que nos pasa. Because our vision is blurry. Porque nuestra visión está este, oscura. We can, re we can recognize. No podemos reconocer. Who we are. Quiénes somos. And what we have in front of us. Y que tenemos delante de nosotros. That's why you have to know that you belong. Es por eso que tienes que saber que tú perteneces. Hallelujah. Point number two. El punto número dos. Hebrews 11:3. Hebreos 11:3. By faith, that is, with an inherent trust and enduring confidence in the power, wisdom, and goodness of God, we understand that the worlds, the universe, the ages were framed and created, formed, put in order, and equipped for their intended purpose by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things which are visible. So we got to recognize Holy Spirit. Do you know that Holy Spirit is a person? 
Tenemos que reconocer al Espíritu Santo. ¿Sabes que el Espíritu Santo es una persona? Holy Spirit is a person. El Espíritu Santo es una persona. That has feelings. Que tiene sentimientos. That's why it says that you do not quench the Holy Spirit. Es por eso que dice que no entristezcas al Espíritu Santo. You know that you, you quench the Holy Spirit when you fail to recognize that you belong. ¿Sabes que tú entristezas al Espíritu Santo cuando tú fallas en reconocer que tú perteneces? When you say, "Oh, I'm not good enough." Cuando tú dices, no soy lo, tan bueno, lo suficiente. Oh, I can't preach. I can't teach. I can't pray. Oh my God, mentor, you're gonna put me to pray. Oh my God, I can't. So no puedo predicar, no puedo orar. Oh, mentor, oh, por favor, no me pongas a orar. You're quenching the Holy Spirit. Al Santo. Because He is the dunamis power inside of you. Él es el poder de ti. We have to recognize Him. Que He's going to reveal the relationships él va a a esas in which you belong. A las tú See, God created the universe through His words. So, Dios creó el a de su And His words come to us by way of the Holy Spirit. Y su Santo. But if we fail to recognize his voice, Pero si fallamos en reconocer su voz, we're not going to recognize what he has placed in and around us. No vamos a reconocer lo que ha puesto dentro de nosotros, alrededor de nuestro. And it's going to stop us from accessing everything God has for us. Y lo va a parar de reconocer todo lo que Dios tiene para nosotros. In Revelation 2, and I'm going to go through these scriptures quickly. Revelation 2, 7. Revelación 2, eh, Apocalipsis 2, 7. And, and verse 11, verse 17, and verse 29, for those that are taking notes. 11, 17, y el 29. It's here Jesus is crying out for us to listen to the Holy Spirit. Aquí Jesús está clamando para que nosotros escuchemos al Espíritu Santo. Here he is speaking to all the seven churches. Aquí él está hablando a todas las siete iglesias. In the book of Revelation. En el libro de Apocalipsis. And it says, if you have ears to hear. Y dice, si tú tienes oído para escuchar. Hear what the Spirit of God is saying. Escucha lo que el Espíritu de Dios está diciendo. In John 14:16. En Juan 14:16. Can I get that up there? John 14:16. Hallelujah. And I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper, a comforter, an advocate, an intercessor, a counselor, a strengthener, standby to be with you forever. So Jesus spoke to the Father and the Father spoke to the Holy Spirit. So Jesús le habló al Padre y el Padre le habló al Espíritu Santo. Listen, if you ever want to, you know, if the enemy ever comes to you and tells you you're lonely, si el, el enemigo viene a donde <laughs> ti te dice que tú estás solo, you better tell him to shut up and go. So cállate y vete. Because you got the Holy Spirit tú el who Santo, is your friend que tu amigo, who is, by the way, your best friend que es, by the way, who is your amigo, advocate que tu abogado, who is your comforter que es que te comforta, the one that intercedes through you el que intercede a través de ti. Hallelujah, so you're not alone. So, tú, entonces, tú no estás solo. <laughs> In Romans 8, 26 through 27 Romanos 8, 26 al 27 It's one of my favorite scriptures. Siete. It says that the Holy Spirit speaks through us and, 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 and prays through us through groanings. Dice que el Espíritu Santo ora a través de nosotros y es a través de gemidos indecibles. If you don't know how to pray, si tú no sabes cómo orar, this is the scripture for you. Esto es una escritura para ti. Romans chapter 8. Romanos capítulo 8. He will teach you. Él te va a enseñar. You begin to lift up your tongues. Tú empiezas a levantar tu lengua. As prophet has taught us in this house. Como la profeta nos ha enseñado you en esta begin to open up your mouth a abrir tu boca. and he says if you open up your mouth y él dice que si abres tu boca, I will fill it él la va a llenar. so he speaks to us and through us él habla a nosotros y a través de he nosotros. warns us he directs us él nos, eh, da, este, no, nos nos previene. He causes us to succeed y nos causa que tengamos éxito in our relationships, en nuestras relaciones, in our marriages, en nuestros matrimonios, in our families, en nuestras familias, with friends, con amigos, and in businesses. Y en negocios. Hallelujah. How many want your business to go to another level? ¿Cuántos de ustedes quieren sus negocios que vayan a otro nivel? Ask the Holy Spirit for strategies. Pregúntale al Espíritu Santo por estrategias. We've entered a new season. Fuimos a una nueva temporada. It's a time of new beginnings. Es una una temporada de nuevos comienzos. Ask the Holy Spirit for the clients. Pregúntale al Espíritu Santo por clientes. The Lord released through uh, through Prophet Marina. El el Señor desató a través de la profeta Marina. Right, that we were going to have divine kingdom business relationships. Que íbamos a tener relaciones divinas de hombres de negocio. She called people en el from reino. Ukraine. El 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 llamó de Ucrania. Russia. De Rusia. From other cultures. De otras culturas. 
Are you applying that word? Estás aplicando esa palabra. Are you crying out and asking Holy Spirit for that? Estás clamando y preguntando al Espíritu Santo por eso. Holy Spirit wants to bring that to you. El Espíritu Santo quiere traerte eso a ti. He wants to bring you favor and blessings. Él quiere traerte favor y bendiciones. And he wants to connect us. Y él nos quiere conectar. To uncommon people. A, con personas no comunes. For a common purpose. Para un en propósito común. He wants to connect us. Él nos quiere conectar. To uncommon people. Con personas que no son comunes. For a common purpose. Para un propósito común. Aleluya. Second Chronicles 2020. Segunda de Crónicas 2020. Aleluya. Thank you, Jesus. So they got up early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe and trust in the Lord your God, and you will be established secure. Believe and trust in his prophets and succeed. You see, the leaders and ministers of the gospel, ¿Ves que los líderes y ministros del evangelio, they are placed in our lives. Ellos tienen lugares en nuestras vidas. And they speak by way of the Holy Spirit. Y ellos hablan por la manera del Espíritu Santo. They hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. Ellos escuchan la voz del Espíritu Santo. And if you hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, y si tú escuchas la voz del Espíritu Santo, through your leaders, a través de tus líderes, you will be blessed. Tú vas a ser bendecido. Favor will be your portion. Favor va a ser tu porción. Because what's on the head Porque lo que está en la cabeza will flow down to the body. Va a fluir abajo hacia el cuerpo. Just like the oil flow down from Aaron's beard, right? Así como fluye el aceite de las barbas that de Aaron. oil that is on them. Hay ese aceite que está that en blessing. Ellos. Esa bendición. That favor. Ese favor. Will begin to flow in your life. Va a empezar a fluir a tu vida. And through every area in your life. Y a través de cada área en tu vida. And you will be blessed. Y vas a ser bendecido. John 16:8. Juan 16, 8. And he said, when he comes, he will convict the world about the guilt of sin and the need for a savior and about righteousness and about judgment. So conviction comes from the Holy Spirit. So la convicción viene a través del Espíritu Santo. Not condemnation. No condenación. Okay? Not condemnation. No condenación. Conviction. Convicción. It's a it's it's something like like you've heard him. Es algo como que le heriste. You failed him. Tú le fallaste. It's such a reverence. Es una reverencia. And you don't it's a conviction that comes and hits you when you know you shouldn't be doing or saying es something. Es una convicción que viene a ti que cuando tú sabes que no debes de estar haciendo o diciendo. But it doesn't condemn you. Pero no te condena. Because the only one that accuses us is the enemy. Porque el único que te acusa es el enemigo. So we gotta know the voice of the Holy Spirit. So entonces tenemos que saber reconocer la voz del Espíritu Santo. And when He convicts us, we just gotta repent. Y cuando él te da convicción, tienes que arrepentir. Second Timothy 3:16. Segunda de Timoteo 3:16. All scripture is God breathed, given by divine inspiration, and is profitable for instruction, for conviction of sin, for correction of error, and restoration to obedience, for training in righteousness, learning to live in conformity to God's will, both publicly and privately, behaving honorably with personal integrity and moral courage. See, when you read his word, tú lees su palabra, you are hearing his voice. Estás escuchando su voz. And in turn, it develops a relationship. With him. Y entonces empieza a desarrollar una relación con él. Sometimes I ask people. Algunas veces le pregunto a las personas. When we go to evangelize. Cuando vamos a evangelizar. Do you know about Jesus? Conoces acerca de Jesús. And everybody swears they know about Jesus. Y todo el mundo jura que conoce acerca <laughs> oh, de Jesús. Oh, I know about Jesus. Oh, yo sé, yo conozco acerca de Jesús. Really? De verdad. Do you have a relationship with him? Tú tienes una relación con oh, él. Oh yes, yes, I pray every day. Sí, yo oro todos los días. But just by the way they look, you could tell. So, you know they are in great need. Pero están en gran necesidad. So we gotta know His word. Tenemos que conocer su palabra. How are you gonna know about Jesus if you don't read about Jesus? ¿Cómo tú vas a conocer a Jesús si tú no crees, lees acerca de él? I remember when uh, Vivi was young. Yo me recuerdo cuando, cuando younger. Mi, cuando mi hija <laughs> estaba más, young. <laughs> más joven. She's only 18, guys. <laughs> Solamente tiene 18. But I used to tell her when we ha would have a Bible time. Yo le solía decir cuando teníamos este tiempo de estudio. I would say, baby, when you open the Bible. Cuando tú abras la Biblia. I want you to picture it. Yo quiero que tengas un retrato. Like you're opening his heart. 
como tú estás como que tú estás abriendo su corazón and, and I would have her close her eyes y yo la hacía que cerrara sus ojos and I would say now picture that you're opening the heart of the father so ahora tengo un retrato en tu mente como que estás abriendo el corazón del padre and everything that you are and everything that you need and everything every answer to every question is found in his heart y todo lo que tú eres todo lo que tú necesitas toda pregunta toda la necesidad está encontrada en su corazón And I told her every secret, everything, every instruction that you need is going to be found in his word. Todo secreto, toda instrucción, todo lo que tú necesites vas a encontrar en su palabra. And that's how we have to see the word of God. Y así es que tenemos que ver la palabra de Dios. We have to see it like we're opening up his treasure, tenemos his que heart. Como que estamos abriendo And su tesoro, everything su corazón. that we need is y, in his word. Y todo lo que necesitamos está en su palabra. And if you want to know how to hear the voice of God, y si tú quieres saber cómo escuchar la voz de Dios, open up his heart. Abre su corazón. And you're going to learn how to hear the voice of God y vas a cómo la there voz de will Dios. be no room for confusion no va a haber para because you're developing a relationship with him estás una con and él. the more that you hear his voice y lo más que su voz, the more you're going to relate to him y lo más que te vas a con él. Psalm 63, 1 through 2 Salmo 63, 1 al 2 Oh God, you are my God with deepest longing I will seek you my soul, my life, my very self thirst for you my flesh longs and sighs for you in a dry and weary land where there is no water so I have gazed upon you in the sanctuary to see your power and to see your glory wow this is King David este es el Rey David the first voice you hear is the voice that will dominate in your life la primera voz que tú escuchas es la voz que va a dominar en tu vida what is the first voice you're hearing in your morning cuál es la primera voz que tú escuchas en tu mañana when you rise up cuando tú te levantas what is that voice that's speaking to you cuál es esa voz que te está hablando David longed and gazed to be in his sanctuary David deseaba y buscaba estar en su santuario to be in his presence to see his power and his glory estar en su presencia tu ver su ver su poder y su gloria If you get bored, si tú te aburres, you're lacking presence. Entonces estás pas, eh, eh, escaseando presencia. You're lacking relationship. Estás escaseando relación. If you fall asleep, si tú te pones a dormir, you lack presence. Estás escaseando you're presencia. You're lacking in your relationship estás with God. Estás escaseando en tu relación con David Dios. yearned. David, David desired David to hear his voice su voz. in the morning hours. Las horas And if his voice is the first voice you hear, y su voz es la que escuchas, that is the voice that will dominate you for the rest of your day. So we got to seek his voice. Que su voz. Your relationship with the Holy Spirit tu con el is Santo. the most important relationship in your life. Es la más de It's tu vida. more important than the relationship with your spouse es más que la con tu because your relationship with Holy Spirit tu, la con tu is going Santo to determine your relationships va a determinar tus relaciones. if you want a successful marriage si tú quieres un matrimonio exitoso, if you want a successful relationship with your children si tú quieres una relación exitosa con tus you hijos, must develop a relationship with the Holy Ghost debes desarrollar una relación con he's going to guide Santo. you Él te va a guiar. he's going to tell you what to say Él te va a decir what he's going to tell you when to stay quiet Él He's going to tell you how to give you the strategies. He's going to give you the victory. And you're going to begin to see change. You must partner with Holy Spirit. He's yearning for you. He's yearning for you. He yearns for you. He desires you. He desires to have communion with you. He desires your worship. He He desires your praise. He desires your all. Él te desea por He wants you. Él te quiere. And if you're lacking in that, y si tú en eso, just be honest with the Lord. Yo sé con el Señor. God, I, I need passion. Yo necesito pasión. I'm lacking passion, God. Estoy escaseando pasión. <laughs> Sometimes when we, when we counsel marriages, <laughs> Algunas veces cuando consejamos matrimonio, you know, sometimes we can tell when, you know, in the marriage there's there's a lack of passion. Podemos eh, eh, mirar cuando hay falta de pasión. But that also tells me there's a lack of passion with the relationship with the Lord. Eso me dice que hay escasez de pasión en tu relación con el Señor. Because when you're passionate for God, 
cuando tú eres apasionado por Dios <laughs> you can't help but be passionate with your spouse you can't no help but be passionate in serving you can't help but be passionate and come into the house of the Lord you can't help but be passionate no te puedes ayudar pero ser apasionado con todo there's a passion inside of you it's a fire hay una pasión dentro that de begins ti, to fuego. consume you from the inside out que te empieza a consumir that you gotta afuera. release it que tú tienes que desatar hasn't it ever happened to you when you go into your prayer closet nunca te ha pasado cuando has ido a tu lugar de oración <laughs> you go in like a little kitten <laughs> vas como un gatito así but you come out like a roaring lion pero sales como un león rugiente right you're full of the love of God está lleno del you're amor de Dios you're full of that zeal and power you come out of that bedroom I know I come out of my bedroom I'm like baby I love you I be all over my husband I am so full of passion and I am very expressive I'm the mushy one I come out of there and I'm seeing him in, my, in another set of eyes Salgo de ahí y lo veo con otros ojos. I'm in love with my husband. Estoy enamorada de mi esposo. See, but all of that comes from that relationship that I spent with the Lord. Pero todo eso viene de esa relación que yo pasé tiempo con el There's Señor. There's a divine exchange that takes place in that moment. Hay un intercambio <laughs> divino que toma lugar en ese momento. And that's why I can't help when I come to my house to worship and praise, to run, to shout, to scream, to cry, to weep, to do everything and look all crazy. I don't care. Y es por eso que no me puedo contener cuando vengo a la casa Because it's for him. Señor. That is all I can give Porque him. That is all you can give him. That's all you can give him is your love, it's your praise, it's your passion, it's your worship. That's the only thing that he wants. He wants her obedience. He wants relationships. Hallelujah. <laughs> So we gotta love God. Tenemos que amar a Dios. And you will obey His commandments. Y tienes que amar y amará sus mandamientos. Love God and you will love your neighbor. Ama a Dios y amará a tu vecino. And point number three, Genesis 28, 13 through 14. Genesis 28, 13. And behold, the Lord stood above and around him and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your father's father, and the God of Isaac. I will give to you and to your descendants the land of promise of which you are lying. Your descendants shall be as countless as the dust of the earth, and you shall spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south, and all the families, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed through you and through your descendants. My God, we got to recognize the net. Tenemos que reconocer la red. We, we're gonna, we got to spread out through relationships. Tenemos que regarnos a través de las relaciones. What is the vision of this house? ¿Cuál es la visión de esta casa? To restore lives. Restaurar vidas. Reposition families. Reposicionando familias. Through the love of God. A través del amor de Dios. Supernaturally. Sobrenaturalmente. So we're called to engage. Estamos llamados a We're en, called to empower. A empoderar. We're called to expand. Para expandir and to go to every level of increase y ir a cualquier nivel de incremento that God wants us to go to que Dios quiera que vayamos. but how Pero cómo? we're going to spread out through our relationships Vamos a, 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 a a través de relaciones. first in the house Primero en la casa, and then outside of the house y después fuera de la casa. once God reminded Jacob, Una vez Dios le recordó a Jacob that he belonged que él pertenecía. He released the first element of the promise. Él desató el primer elemento de la promesa. The possession of the land. La posesión de la tierra. And the second was the numerous descendants. Y el segundo fue todos los, el, los descendientes numerosos. Like the dust of the earth. Como el polvo de la tierra. This is the promise for us. Esa es la promesa para nosotros. He wants us to spread out. Él quiere que nos eh, 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 reguemos. He wants us to break through. Él quiere que rompamos. He wants us to break through every restraining bond. Él quiere que rompamos a través He de wants cualquier us to cosa remove que nos restringe. Él quiere que nos lo removamos. He wants us to spread out for the land and for the people. Por la tierra y para la gente. Amen. Amen. So in other words, God is saying. En otras palabras, Dios está diciendo. I will give you land and 
I will give you people. Yo te voy a dar tierra y te voy a dar gente. I will give you so much land. Te voy a dar tanta tierra. And so much people. Y tanta gente. That's going to grow beyond your imagination. Que va a crecer más allá de It's tu imaginación. It's going to go beyond your boundaries. Va a ir más allá de tus límites. That you know today. Que los cuales tú conoces hoy. And the more you and those I give to you. Y lo más que de, de, de aquellos que te den. That realize that they belong to me and my kingdom. Que, que se realicen que pertenecen a mí a mi reino. The more the promise of land and people will increase. Más la promesa de tierra y gente va a incrementar. To the four corners of the earth. A las cuatro esquinas de la tierra. This is our promise. Esta es nuestra promesa. Tell your neighbor you belong. Dile a tu vecino tú perteneces. Tell your other neighbor you belong. Dile a tu otro vecino tú perteneces. Hallelujah. In Ezekiel 36, 33 through 38. En Ezequiel 33. Hallelujah. 38. Here it says the Lord God on the day that I cleansed you from all of your sins I will also cause the cities of Israel to be inhabited and the ruins will be rebuilt the desolate land will be cultivated instead of being a desolation in the sight of everyone who passes by then they will say this land that was deserted and desolate has become like the garden of Eden and the waste desolate and ruined cities are fortified and inhabited Then the nations that are left around you will know that I, the Lord, have rebuilt the ruined places and planted that which was desolate. I, the Lord, have spoken and will do it. Thus says the Lord God, this too I will let the house of Israel ask me to do for them. I will increase their people like a flock. My God, you know, this is the scripture that God gave Our spiritual father, Apostle Brian. Esta es la escritura que Dios le dio a nuestro padre espiritual, el apóstol Brian. Back in 2005. Atrás en el 2005. This is our promise. Esta es nuestra promesa. This is our promise. Esta es nuestra promesa. Because we all make up redemption. Porque todos nosotros hacemos redención. And how has it grown? Y cómo va a crecer. It's grown through relationships. Va a crecer a través de relaciones. And the closer that we get to the Lord. Y lo más cerca que nos lleguemos al Señor. The more relationships He's going to bring into our lives. Más relaciones él va a traer a nuestras vidas. Don't despise your relationships. No tengas a menos tus relaciones. Don't despise your relationships. No tengas a menos tus relaciones. See the church in Kisimi. La iglesia en Kisimi. Is the land. Es la tierra. And the people. Y la gente. And you and the people. And you y tú y las personas. And there is more land and there are more people that he wants to add to. Y hay más tierra y más personas que él quiere añadirnos. And he's going to do it as we develop. Y él lo va a hacer a, 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 mientras nos desarrollemos. As we nurture. Nos nutramos. And as we add more more to our relationships. Y añadimos más a nuestras relaciones. First with him. Primero con él. And then with the people. Y después con la, con la gente. Right, so he wants us to relate. Él los quiere que nos relacionemos. He wants us to saturate Osceola County. Él quiere que saturemos Osceola County. With his word in the streets and in the homes. Con su palabra en las calles y en las casas. And as we do that, the church is going to grow. Y mientras hagamos eso, la iglesia va a crecer. And guess what? As we grow, the land is going to be given to us. Y imagínate, mientras nosotros <laughs> crezamos, la tierra se nos va a ser dada. So that we can train, then train the people. Para que nosotros podamos entrenar a las personas. To go and gather more people. Para que vayan y traigan más personas. It is his promise. Es su promesa. So as a church. Como iglesia. Everyone going out. Todo el mundo yendo afuera. And presenting the gospel daily. Presentando el evangelio diariamente. We're going to begin to bring in the people. Vamos a empezar a traer. We're going to begin to be the laborers that gather the harvest. Vamos a empezar a hacer los obreros que traen. Because the word of God says that the harvest is already ready. Que traen la cosecha porque la palabra de Dios dice que la cosecha está lista. To be ready, it says that it's already ready. Él dice que ya la cosecha está lista. So we gotta go and bring in the harvest. Tenemos que ir y traer la cosecha. And you're gonna go because you know that you belong. Y vas a ir porque tú sabes. Because this is your house and this is your promise. Porque esta es tu casa y esta es tu promesa. Amen. Amen. And God is calling us. Y Dios nos está llamando. From a local pastoral church. Desde una iglesia local pastoral. To a regional church. A una iglesia. 
que es regional. Through relationships. A través de las relaciones. God is calling you and I. Dios te está llamando a ti y a mí. To be fruitful. Para que seamos fructíferos. To multiply. Para que nos multipliquemos. To fill the county. Para que llenemos el condado. And subdue it. Y, y vayamos y lo subyuguemos. And as we do this, y cuando hagamos esto, relationships are going to become more and more important. Y las relaciones van a ser más y más importantes. So we must recognize the relationships in our lives. So debemos de reconocer las relaciones en nuestras vidas. Don't take any relationship for granted. No tomen ninguna relación por poco. Let me tell you something. Déjame decirte algo. Every person in this place. Cada persona en este lugar. Has something to learn from the person next to them. Tiene algo que aprender la de la persona que está al lado de Nobody ella. is greater than nobody else. Nadie es mayor que nadie más. We all are a body. Todos somos un cuerpo. And we're part different members in the body. Y somos parte y somos diferentes miembros del cuerpo. With different functions. Con diferentes funciones. With different gifts. Con diferentes dones. But we all need each other. Pero todos nos necesitamos we los unos a los otros. We all gotta be rooted and grounded. Todos tenemos que ser arraigados we gotta y sembrados. We gotta be locked together. Tenemos que estar se ajuntados todos juntos. As the harvest comes in. Cuando la cosecha venga. Amen. Hallelujah. So the quality of life at redemption la calidad de vida en redención is going to be determined by the relationships we recognize. Va a ser determinada por las relaciones que nosotros reconocemos. The relationships that you start. Las relaciones que tú comienzas. The relationships you develop. Las relaciones que tú desarrollas. The ones that you nurture. Las que tú nutres. The ones that you sustain. Las que tú sostienes. And let me tell you something. Y déjame decirte algo. Offense is going to come. La ofensa va a venir. It's inevitable. Es inevitable. Offense will come to all of us. La ofensa va a venir a todos nosotros. Jesus said it, offense will come. Jesús dijo que la ofensa vendría. He said that it was necessary. Era necesario, dijo. Why? ¿Por qué? Because it's going to reveal to you Porque te va a revelar the state of your heart. El estado de tu corazón. So if somebody offends you, si alguien te ofende, if your neighbor offends you, si tu vecino te ofende, if your leader offends si you, tu líder te ofende, if your mentor offends si tu you, mentor te ofende, or your spouse or whoever, o tu esposo cualquiera, be quick to forgive. Sé rápido para perdonar. Be quick to To love because love covers a multitude of sins el amor cubre una de we are not called to judge each other no a we are called to build up each other a we are called to build each other up in the faith hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah hallelujah so our kingdom purpose is great Nuestro propósito en el reino es grande. but it will only go as far Pero tan solo irá tan lejos as the strength of the net como en la fuerza de la red. that's why in Luke 5 es por eso que en Lucas 5 1 through 10, del 1 al 10 Jesus begins to call his disciples Jesús empieza a llamar sus discípulos. he saw a couple of them in the boats Él vio algunos de ellos en el bote. He told Simon, you know, just throw your nets. Simon, tira tu red. Throw your nets deep end. Tira tu red profundo. And as they began to, 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 to pull out the nets, y a jalar la red, there was so much fish in those nets. Había tantos peces en esas redes. But it says there Pero dice ahí, that the nets began to break. Dice que las redes a See, redemption, we are the net. So, vean, redención, nosotros somos la red. Our relationships are the net. Nuestras relaciones son la red. And as strong as our net is, Así, tan fuerte como en nuestra red, that's how far we will go. Eso es lo tan lejos que podremos ir. That's why es por eso, God called us to be fishers of men. Es por eso que Dios nos llamó a ser pecadores de hombres. But our relationships, we have to be locked in. Nosotros, nuestras relaciones tenemos que estar atados, juntos. And as I was praying this morning, y mientras yo oraba esta mañana, God began to show me Dios comenzó a enseñarme how the net como la red is made up of knots está hecha a, a través de nudos and he began to tell me Raquel él me dijo Raquel the leadership of redemption el liderazgo de redención are the knots in the net son los nudos en la red they are the ones that are holding the net ellos son los que están aguantando la red so that the net doesn't break para que la red no se rompa that's why it's so important for us es por eso que es tan importante that we have to be strong que tenemos que ser fuertes we have to be in position tenemos que estar en posición we We have to be doing what we're called to be doing Tenemos que estar haciendo lo que se nos ha llamado so hacer. that as the fish come in as the souls come in para que cuando los peces vengan, las almas and vengan, it begins to get filled up 
y la red se empieza a llenar and the net becomes heavy 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 y la red se convierta bien pesada it's not gonna break que no se rompa why because there's a strong leadership in redemption ¿Por qué? porque hay un liderazgo fuerte where there is no competition donde no hay competencia where there's no room for gossip donde no hay espacio where there's para no room for jealousy donde no hay espacio where para there's no room for nothing donde no hay espacio where para we're all esto. working together porque estamos trabajando because juntos. we're locked in porque estamos because we're juntos. gripped together porque estamos conectados so juntos. the fish are coming in Los pecados vienen. and the net will not break la red no se va a romper. that's why God is calling you to build strong effective relationships eh, with each other es por eso que Dios nos llama a, de, a, a levantar relaciones fuertes y efectivas entre cada uno stop de nosotros stop judging your brother and sister para de juzgar a tu hermano y a tu hermana stop judging para de juzgar we're not called to judge no estamos llamados a juzgar we're called to love estamos llamados a amar we're called to build each other up estamos llamados a levantarnos we're called a to a hold nosotros. that net strong para aguantar esa red fuerte so when the people come in cuando la gente venga we will love them as they are los vamos a amar como ellos son We will love them as they are. Los vamos a amar como ellos son. Because they're going to come in broken. Porque van a venir rotos. Some will come all full of religion. Algunos van a venir llenos de religión. Some are going to come looking like homeless. Algunos van a venir luciendo como eh, eh, vagabundos. We've been crying out for the prostitutes. Hemos estado clamando por las We've prostitutas. We've been crying out for for all of the ones that the, that the world that the community doesn't want. Hemos estado clamando por los que el mundo no quiere. Those are the ones we want. Esos son los que queremos. So when they come in, para que cuando ellos vengan, don't judge them. No los juzguen. Love them. Amenlos. Cover them. Cúbralos. Embrace them. Abrácelos. Doesn't matter if they stink. No importa si apesta. Love on them. Amenlos. You know because they can stink on the outside. Porque ellos pueden apestar en lo en But you stink exterior. on the inside. Pero a lo mejor usted puede apestar en la parte de adentro. We gotta love the people. Tenemos que amar al pueblo. We must love the people. Tenemos que hablar, amar al pueblo. We're called to evangelize. He, hemos sido llamados a evangelizar. You may say, but I'm not called into the office of the evangelist. Pero yo no estoy llamado a la oficina de evangelista. You don't need to be in the office of the evangelist. Tú no tienes que estar en la oficina de evangelista. Jesus gave us a mandate. He said, go and preach the gospel. Jesús nos dio un mandato. Ve y predica el evangelio. So you gotta go as you move. You go and you preach the gospel. Tú tienes que ir así mientras te mueves. By how you love one another. Como amas a los demás. How you love people. Como amas a las personas. That's why Jesus said, "In this they will know that you are my disciples." Es por eso que Jesús dijo, en este día sabremos que quiénes son mis discípulos. And how you love one another. En cómo tú amas el uno al otro. How is your love walk? Cómo está tu caminar de amor. So in the parable, they cast their nets deep. En la parábola echaron las redes profundo. As instructed by Jesus. Instruidos por Jesús. But they lost a lot of fish. Pero perdieron muchos peces. We have filled this place. Nosotros hemos llenado este lugar. And have lost too many. Y hemos perdido muchos. Our net is breaking. Nuestra red se ha roto. Our net is not strong enough for what Jesus is asking us to do. Nuestra red no ha no ha estado fuerte para lo que Jesús nos ha pedido hacer. Because Jesus is bringing the souls. Porque Jesús está trayendo las almas. I remember this great preacher once said. Me recuerdo este gran predicador una vez dijo. He said, "If you have never wept for a soul, si tú nunca has clamado por una alma, then I, I would have to question if you've been, been born again." Entonces yo tendré que cuestionar si tú has sido nacido de nuevo. The souls are the currency of heaven. Las almas son la moneda de los cielos. You and I are in this place today. Ustedes y yo estamos en este lugar aquí hoy. Because there was somebody that stood in the gap. Porque hubo alguien que se paró en la brecha. That prayed for your salvation. Que oró por tu salvación. That spoke to you about Jesus. Que te habló a ti acerca de Jesús. That had the boldness to speak to you about the gospel. Que tuvo la audacia para hablarte a ti acerca del evangelio. We are called to preach the gospel. Hemos sido llamados a predicar el evangelio. We cannot allow for that door to be a revolving door. No podemos permitir que esa puerta sea una puerta de retroceso. Because God is doing what He's promised. Porque Dios está haciendo lo que nos prometió. But are we redemption doing what we've been called to do? Pero nosotros estamos haciendo lo que hemos sido llamados a hacer. We must keep the fish. Nosotros debemos aguantar los peces. In the church, the strength of our net en la iglesia, la fuerza de nuestra red is determined by relationships and positioning. Está determinada por la relación y la posición. We need each other. Nos necesitamos los unos a los otros. 
I need each and every one of you. Yo necesito a cada uno de ustedes. I need everything that God has placed inside of you for me. Yo necesito todo lo que Dios ha puesto dentro de ti para mí. And everything that God has placed inside of me. Y todo lo que él ha puesto en mí. You also need it as well. Tú también lo necesitas. Tell your neighbor, you need me. Dile a tu vecino, tú me necesitas. And now tell them, and I need you. Y ahora dile, y yo te necesito. Hallelujah. Let's stand up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, just begin to lift up your hands. Father, we thank you. Thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence in this place. And we thank you for your word tonight, God. We thank you that your word, my God, is life to us. Te damos gracias, Señor, porque tu palabra es luz para nosotros. Oh, Rabashe, que tal abashota, Rabacanda. We must commit to recognize. Debemos comprometernos a reconocer. And to develop the net. A desarrollar la red. Let's strengthen the net. Vamos a fortalecer la red. By recognizing. Para reconocer. And developing. And desarrollar. Relationships in the house. Relaciones en la casa. So that we can fulfill his purpose. Para que podamos cumplir su propósito. And, and go into the four corners of this region and up to the four corners of the earth hallelujah father I thank you Padre, te doy gracias. I thank you Jesus te doy gracias, Jesús. I don't know this is a great opportunity I don't know if you're visiting us for the first time today si lo visitas por primera vez hoy or maybe if you have fallen away in your relationship with the Lord si te has alejado de tu relación con el Señor You know, God is calling you. Dios te está llamando. God wants you to know that you belong. Dios quiere que tú sepas que tú perteneces. And you, if you would love to receive Jesus. Y si tú deseas recibir a Jesús en tu corazón. As your Lord and Savior. Como tu Señor y Salvador. I want to invite you to come up to the front. Yo quiero invitarte a que vengas al frente. It is not a coincidence that you're here tonight. No es coincidencia que estés aquí esta noche. He is knocking at the door of your heart. Él está tocando a la puerta de tu corazón. He's knocking at the door of your heart. Él está tocando a la puerta de tu corazón. He wants you to know that you belong. Él quiere que tú sepas que you tú perteneces. Belong. Tú perteneces. You belong in his heart. Tú perteneces en su He corazón. He loves you. Él te ama. Is there anybody else? Hay alguien más. Hallelujah. Shekatalaba shetalabaka. Deacon Hector, if you can lead him in the prayer. And then take him to the back and pray for him. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Come on, just lift up your hands right there Vamos, where you're at. Manos, ahí. Just begin to worship him. A just worship him. Adore worship him. Adore He's him. worthy of your worship. He's oración. worthy of your love. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Oh, Padre, te adoramos, Señor. We worship you, Lord. Te adoramos, Señor. We worship you, Lord. Te adoramos, Señor. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Your love is so great. Your love is so great, my God. We thank you, Father, for your presence in this place. We thank you for your presence in this place. Hallelujah. I want you, if you, if you want to commit tonight, si not te, with me, si tú te noche, no conmigo, but if you want to make a commitment with the Lord tonight, pero tú hacer un con el Señor esta noche, to go greater in your level of commitment with Him, para tu en tu en tu con él. I want you to lift up your hands right there where you're at. Que tu mano ahí donde estás. And I want you to repeat after me. Y que de mí. And I want you to say, Father, que diga, Padre, tonight, esta noche, I declare. Yo declaro that I belong que yo pertenezco in your kingdom en tu reino and I commit y yo me comprometo into a level en, a un nivel of relationship de relación with you and your people contigo, tu pueblo to love you a, para amarte to love you with all my heart para amarte con todo mi corazón and to love your people y amar a tu pueblo to recognize para reconocer by way of Holy Spirit la forma del Espíritu Santo how to build Cómo construir, how to place, cómo tu, poner, how to develop, cómo how to nurture, cómo nutrir, how to sustain cómo sostener, effective relationships. I thank you, Father, te doy gracias, Padre, that your 
power of resurrection que tu poder de resurrección is released through me está desatado a into de every kingdom relationship a través de cada relación de reino in Jesus name en el nombre de Jesús Now I'm going to activate it. Amen. So Ahora I just want you to lift up your hands and receive. Solo yo quiero que levante su mano y reciba. Oh, karima sokora baba setela brokobra setala basaya. Father, I activate your people tonight, my God. Padre, activo tu pueblo esta noche. So they will recognize and see. Para que ellos reconozcan y vean. The resources that are waiting for them. Los recursos que esperan por ellos. Father, I break every spirit of delay. Padre, yo rompo todo espíritu de demora. That has prevented them from walking. Que les ha prevenido de caminar in their full potential and purpose en su potencial completo y propósito in Jesus name en el nombre de Jesús I thank you Father te doy gracias Señor that they are those que ellos son aquellos who carry resurrection power que cargan poder de resurrección wherever they go a donde quiera que van that they are those que ellos son aquellos that will hear and know que escucharán y sabrán the voice of Holy Spirit la voz del Espíritu Santo that will guide them que lo guiará to everything that is true a todo aquello que es verdad Everything that is righteous in their lives. I thank you, Father, that they are those that are fishers of men, that extend their nets, my God, that will possess every heavenly blessing, that will possess the land, and will gather the people. I thank you, Father, that you strengthen them in the might of the Lord. And Father, I I prophesy that redemption will recognize and will not miss their hour of visitation that is here and now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on, give God a shout of praise. Give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Lift up your soul. Hallelujah. Release, release the sound of harvest. Oh, there's a sound of harvest. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we thank you for the harvest, God. We thank you that your house shall be filled. Your house shall be filled, God. You remain faithful, Lord. And your promises are yes and amen. We thank you in Jesus' name, Lord. Now I want to place this mandate on you to not leave this place. Yo quiero poner este mandato dentro de ti para que no dejes este lugar. Without getting somebody's phone number or name, somebody that you do not know. Para que te relaciones, que te reci, coge el We teléfono. need to get out of these cliché, these groups. Te salgas de esos grupos, alguien que tú no conoces. We're called to build relationships. Hemos sido llamados a levantar relaciones. How many are happy for Lauren and her husband Lamar? ¿Cuántos están felices por Lauren y su esposo? That have joined the church. How many are happy for Ebony that has joined the church? ¿Cuántos están felices por Ebony que ha salido de la iglesia? We have somebody new visiting us here today. We have Mandy, right? We have Mandy, her husband, and coming, her daughters. God is bringing the people. We must build relationships. So I want to challenge you tonight. That you get somebody's phone number. And you begin to build on that relationship. Because remember, we're only as, we're only going to go as far as strong as our nets are. Vamos a ir tan lejos a, a, así como nuestra red. Amen. So we're called to mobilize. Amen. Hemos llamado movilizar. So make sure you recognize the gifts inside of each one. Asegúrate de que tú reconoces el don en cada uno. And recognize the gifts that are inside of you. Y reconoce el don que está dentro.